I got a question on procrastination and it's important because I think a lot of people fall into this trap. So stay with me here for this really essential tip that will help you overcome procrastination issues. So this question is from a viewer. This person has actually read my book, um, Procrastination Decoded, but they're getting stuck on something. Um, what I suggest with procrastination is you become kind of single-minded in that you're basically just focusing on accomplishing this thing that you're procrastinating on. And as you're doing and engaging with this thing that you typically procrastinate on, generally speaking, what you're going to be doing in conjunction with that is a lot of rest and relaxation. Okay, so you're kind of single-minded, you're resting, recuperating. Single-minded, go back and you focus on the, on the thing you're doing and then you're resting. And this person asked me here, what should I do in this rest time between initiating uh, with the project. I've been using this to do things like exercise or work on side projects. However, I'm noticing that my tendency to procrastinate increases the busier I am in the rest period. Am I doing something wrong? So I would suggest that this is not ideal. I, I, in the book, the way I talk about it is, you, you, you gotta become single-minded. We're not really designed to be switching between complex, energy-intensive tasks. Okay, so for instance, if you're working on your studies or something, you're preparing, you're really single-minded, I'm preparing for my, my academic exams, right? And then you're resting, and you go and you do a 45-minute workout or something, and then you're back to your study. That's not going to work because your nervous system is hyper vigilant when you have an issue of procrastination to energy, energy exertion. Ideally, when you are resting, you are doing what I call in the book, you embrace your, your, uh, you embrace your inner slob. You do as little as possible. Whatever feels slobbish to you, that's kind of the activity. So you're going to be like, it could be playing video games, it could be watching TV, it could be doing something, just go for a walk, but you don't do a lot, you're not doing a lot, right? That's the idea behind it. So things like exercise and those things, you know, those come at a different part of your day probably, they're not appropriate for these rest periods. We really wanna be single-minded. Certainly, when you're focused on your one thing, your rest periods shouldn't be anything goal-oriented. Right? If, if it feels like you've got fitness goals or something and now you're working on your other goals when you just are taking a rest from this huge goal, that's not really going to work. So what you want to do is honor the fact that when you're resting, you're resting. Now you'll find that you go through your day, you take your, your alternate between engaging with your project and rest, engage with your project and rest. And you will get to a point Another point I thought, thing I talk about in the book is that you should have an upper limit for the amount of work you're allowed to do on your main project. Okay, so you will always have a sense of the work has a limit that I'm about to reach. And when you reach it, you reach it. And then after that, there's this, there's this oceans of there's usually time to, to do things that are not related to that task at all. So what I'm saying is you have a boundary with it. But the, 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 the heart of your issue here is you're not actually resting. Okay, you're not doing the project, but you're filling that rest period with anything but rest by the sounds of it, right? So that won't work. I get the temptation because that's the chronic doer in us that always wants to be doing. And that's of course the thing that leads us to procrastination in the first place. This always doing more and more and more. How much can I cram into every single day? And we find ourselves switching between tasks all the time and it's just too much. The nervous system will understandably shuts it down, shuts off the motivation valve. It closes it and it's like, I don't feel like doing anything right now. It's overwhelm. It's an anxiety. It builds and builds and procrastination is a, a coping mechanism for that. 
So guys, bear in mind, again, you've seen any of my other videos on this topic, I keep talking about the importance of guilt-free, non-negotiable play, right? And if you do that, play or rest, that will be such a help to you with this issue. Thanks for being with me, guys. I hope this video on procrastination was a useful reminder for some of you, and maybe if you're new to my, my work on this, it's been uh, insightful for you. I hope it has. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.